Hello and welcome to the top 5 tips for Slay the Spire. I of course am Reckoner and these are my beginner or newbie tips for the game, so nothing too advanced. As a disclaimer, these are tips that I've picked up or have been told about during my own playthrough of the game, so they may not be in line with your top 5, but please do let me know if you have any more in the comments. With that said, let's get on with it. Tip number 1. Use block. This one's pretty simple and most important if you've just started playing the game. Being defensive early on is critical for new players because there generally isn't a time limit to every battle, so it pays off to block as much damage from an enemy or enemies as possible. It's especially important early on when monsters are much easier to kill but can still hit you for relatively meaningful damage, especially since you've just started your run and therefore enemies should get tougher as the run continues. Remember, it's better to kill an enemy over 10 turns where you've blocked almost all of the damage against you, rather than killing an enemy over 5 turns where you've taken some kind of damage. There are exceptions to this rule, however, as some enemies do gain strength every turn, meaning their attacks hit you for more. You really need to get rid of them as quick as possible in this case, therefore minimise your use of block. Tip number 2. Pick cards that work together. As you continue through your run, you'll be picking up cards very quickly, so it's important to create a deck that has some sort of synergy. This can usually be achieved by focusing on one or two very powerful cards that you've managed to find, and then choosing other cards that synergize with them. An obvious example for Ironclad is Perfected Strike. Perfected Strike deals a base damage of 6, with a modifier of plus 2 damage for every card with Strike in the name that you have in your deck. As an ironclad you start off with a number of strike cards and more can be picked up along the way, so you'd most likely want to prioritise these over others if you've decided on a perfected strike deck. Of course upgrading the card or cards you've decided to focus on is also crucial. Tip number 3. Remove cards at merchants. Removing cards at merchants is one of the most underrated tips in Slay the Spire. When on a run you'll be picking up cards after almost every battle, and as your deck gets bigger so does the likelihood that you'll be stuck with low tier cards in your hand when you really want those awesome combos that will finish off an end of act boss. As your deck cycles in every battle, removing some of the worst powers, attacks or skills will mean you get those top tier cards at a much quicker rate. You'll usually want to remove the starting cards, as these are pretty terrible in comparison to those found later on but just remember that deck synergy we talked about in tip 2. Don't start removing all your strikes if you've picked up perfected strike and plan on using it a lot. Tip number 4. Take risks early on. As you're going to end up dying in most Slay the Spire runs, it's important to take risks early on and then take less risks as you get deeper and deeper into the game. It's always important to keep an eye on your health while playing, but in the first act or even two, when fighting regular monsters, you can probably get away with being around 50% health, especially if it means the difference between picking up a super powerful relic in an unknown event, or upgrading a card instead of resting at every campfire you come across. On that note, upgrading cards, especially those that are already powerful, is a priority in the early game. You'll find that a Nightmare Plus card that you upgrade at the first opportunity means a lot more later in the game when compared to getting some health back after already being at 75% health. Of course, as mentioned, the deeper you get into a run, the less risks you want to take, as there are some enemies that really, really hurt. Tip number five, take your time. I've saved the most important tip for last, as there really is no time limit in Slay the Spire, so you can take as long as you want each turn, and sometimes it really pays off. Rushing into every battle will eventually end up with you regretting some of your decisions. So when a battle begins, take a moment to read the enemy's skills or modifiers so that they don't take you by surprise a couple of turns into the fight. Naturally, it really helps if you're decent at maths, as adding up different combinations of cards and being able to understand what this means later on is quite crucial, but again, there is no time limit, so you really can take several minutes for each turn if you need. And believe me, I have. So there you have it, my top 5 tips for Slay the Spire. Check out my channel for my blind playthrough and other playthroughs of other games, and let me know what you think in the comments. 
Cheers for watching.